Hi guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Monica Pai is here. Once again, I have to record from my iPhone. I'm really sorry because I'm telling you, do not buy batteries on Amazon. I have three batteries and they all are dead and I basically just charge them, so I just don't get it. Anyways, today is Food Friday, Food Friday, Food Friday, Food Friday. <laughs> okay as y'all know it's a series that i am starting and it's like debunking nutrition myths or just talking nutrition period so i posted a questionnaire on instagram and a lot of you wanted to know about reverse dieting dieting so that's what we're gonna get into today reverse dieting what is it why do you need to do it so reverse dieting is basically something that comes from the bodybuilding world you do it when you've been on a deficit for a really really long time which a uh, deficit is a low calorie high cardio phase and it's obviously your body does not do well when it is in this type of phase your bmr lowers your hormones are like going crazy you're body is not meant to be in such low calories for a long period of time so basically what reverse dieting is is that you gradually start increasing calories so that way there is less fat gain than if you were to just like balls to the walls eat everything and anything that you wanted why would you need to do this there's a couple reasons why you need to do this um number one to get your hormones happy with you. Like I said previously, your hormones are not happy in such a low caloric state. Also, you are very, very tired, very irritable. Um, so it's not it's not nice to be around you, basically. I trust me. I've been there, done that, and it's not it's not nice. Another reason also is that you're very tired all the time, you're very lethargic have trouble concentrating and BMR is your basal metabolic rate let's say that this is your I wish I had a, like a drawing board this is your metabolism right this is like your maintenance level whatever so you lower it so all of a sudden your metabolism has less calories less food to eat so it has to work less so it's gonna go down and then it goes down 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 as you go decreasing so obviously that is not a good state to be in you want your metabolism to go up and be happy and how does it do that by increasing your calories now a lot of my clients and um, a lot of people that I've spoken to are like I don't want to do a verse like no 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 that's crazy I don't want to gain weight and that's kind of a misconception like yes you're gonna gain a some weight I'm not gonna lie and some people are different but there are very few let's just put that out there if you do it properly Properly, that is what reverse dieting is all about I am currently in a reverse diet and I've only gained about two to three pounds and I've been doing this for about three months now so that is huge and that's basically what reverse dieting is all about it helps your body get back to that maintenance level and without uh, increasing the fat in your body the body fat in your body so it is something that you need to do your body cannot constantly be like right down here with your calories because then where do you go from there you'll hit a plateau and it's like um okay i'm not losing weight let me decrease the calories but you're already like at 1200 you don't want to go below that so what do you do so just because you've hit a plateau does not mean that the world is coming to an end like a lot of us think it just might mean that it's time to reverse it's kind of your body letting you know okay you know this is what we're gonna do for you we've come this far let's it's time to feed us a little bit reverse dieting is actually really good i recommend it to anybody like the goal and the more that you reverse and the more that you like then go into like a, ca a caloric deficit the more that you're gonna have like higher calories when you um, when you start losing again. So for instance, let's say that this time around, because it's usually like a phase, and of course it differs between people. Let's say that right now you are at a caloric deficit, you're, you're in a fat loss uh, phase, your calories are at 1200. You reverse diet for about eight to 12 weeks, and then you start lowering again. At 1200 calories, before in the first phase you were like wow you know I lost so much weight blah 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 
But now this time around, you're at 1,400 calories, you're still losing weight, so there's no need to go down all the way to 1,200 calories. So you see what I mean? Like your body starts repairing itself naturally, and the, goal, the end goal is to be able to lose weight with as much calories as possible. There you have it. It is a good idea to reverse diet. I definitely encourage all my clients. And if you properly do it, you also don't want to like... You know, if you're 1,200 calories, you don't want to go up to 1,400 calories. It's very gradual, like maybe 50 calories every week or so, and then you kind of get the biofeedback and kind of, okay, maybe should we add, should we not, should we stall? Everyone is different. There's no, you know, written down way of doing things, which I think is why people get so frustrated with nutrition because there's no one correct way to do it. Every person is different. You don't want to do it like crazy eat everything inside because then that is when you will gain weight your body's not gonna respond the way that it properly needs to so you'll be like at 1800 calories and gaining so much weight and then when you go down to 1400 calories you're still gonna gain weight it's, it totally drives your system out of control and that's exactly what you don't want so let me know in the comments below if there's any other questions that you guys want. If you have any questions regarding um, reverse dieting, if you want to know more, please send me um, a comment below. DM me on Instagram if you don't follow me. A little, Just a little plug right here. I'll put my Instagram, Monica Paez. Feel free to DM me if you want more questions. Um, if you want me to help you, I can totally coach you and we can do that if you're hitting a plateau and you don't know what to do. Please send me a DM. I really hope that you guys can hear me because we're on the road. We're actually going to a date night, which is why. Oh, also, um, I should have explained this in the beginning. Um, I'm sorry that I'm in the car, but um, I figured since nowadays you really don't dress up and put makeup because there's nowhere to go. Um, I'm actually, we're going to go check out this salad place. Uh, that's a, a new salad place that opened up here. So I figured... I have a fresh place, might as well take advantage. <laughs> so that's why we're in the car for this one. So sorry, I really hope you guys can hear me. And um, I'll catch you in the next one. Please subscribe if you haven't done so. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. 